that the two bottles are equally filled and the two tubes are placed equal at the bottom of each, each of the two vessels. And the same applied to the bricks and cliff experiment. While the, uh, while the tube remains unelevated, there is no flow. But shortly we will see the negative tension drawing the fluid from here as soon as I elevate it. So by lifting the tube we're going to see a negative tension develop. The salt solution is going to be pulled through and is beginning to flow down one side. We'll then see that the vessels will require topping up as water is exchanged from one vessel to the other vessel. Already you can see the negative tension develop and the salt solution flowing rapidly down one side and you can see the return flow occurring on the other side. The salt flows very rapidly down. Now, if we look down here, we can see one vessel is overflowing and we can already see the water trickling out. And we need to continually top this up as the salt solution rapidly arrives. And we can still see the level vanishing, the level going down this side, as water is pulled from one vessel to the other vessel. And the same happens at bricks and cliffs. Here we see the salt solution gathering at the bottom of the vessel and we see the water that's displaced. again I'll draw a little bit of water back in to the syringe and then release another pulse of salts and you can see the return flow occurring there as the salt solution is sucked back through in fact we can see salt flowing down this side and salt flowing down this side but if you look carefully you can actually see the fluid being drawn back up that side now if I top up down here again We can see the rapid flow. And water again overflowing from this vessel. Again, we'll release some more salt. Draw a little salt back. Release a little more salt, but this time we'll release it. In actual fact, you can actually feel, if I, if I withdraw this, you can actually see the plunger being sucked in by the negative tension at the top as it drags the salt down. And now we see the salt rising back up that side. Occasionally we get bubbles forming and with this experiment you can actually see bubbles flowing down on the on the saline side. So we've got bubbles flowing in the wrong direction. Is that good? Very, very efficient flow system.